The other night, we got news from John Smith that AJ Ferrari will not return for the remainder of the 2022 season. This is obviously a huge blow to Oklahoma State's program and the wrestling community. All I have to say before we start this video is that I hope AJ Ferrari is doing better every day and hope he recovers for next season. Wrestling isn't everything and he needs to take this recovery seriously, so I wish him the best with that and I hope him and his family are doing well. Now, before I start talking about the subject at hand, hi everyone, my name is Tanner and welcome back to another video on True Tan Wrestling. I promise I don't like making videos about the best in the sport being done for the rest of their season, but I do cover the biggest news in the sport, so subscribe for more content like that. I know this isn't the best news and I am sad to cover it, but at least leave a like so I can continue to make breaking news stories like this video for everyone to watch and be updated. Also, if I miss anything or you have your own thoughts on the matter, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now, let's talk about some AJ Ferrari. Now, I think we all know this, but for those who don't, AJ Ferrari was in a pretty bad car accident a few weeks ago. I stayed away from covering that because I thought it would be in a little bit poor taste to jump right into that topic and give my thoughts, plus there was just too many unknowns for me to really cover it. As the weeks went on though, we've heard that AJ has left the hospital, which is really great news, and he's recovering to Oklahoma State, which was even better news to hear. For the most part, AJ Ferrari was also pretty quiet on the situation, which for those who follow him on social media is definitely not into his character, but then Ferrari posted a sponsor post on social media and after that I thought for sure he would be back. The only thing that I thought was keeping him out was maybe a concussion but if he was posting stuff on social media and saying he was going to be back I'm sure he was fine. However then just the other day John Smith announced that he would be getting surgery and would not be returning this season. I'm sure this will give AJ some time to reflect on his accident, and if it was truly his fault, thank goodness no one's life was taken, especially his own, and hopefully this will lead to something positive in the long run, which I'm sure it will. Now back to what exactly is wrong with AJ Ferrari, I'm not totally sure what he's getting surgery on, and I'm not a doctor, so I'm not even going to try to guess what it could possibly be. This was shocking to me, and I'm sure the rest of the wrestling community. This is clearly huge news, and is going to be a massive blow to the Oklahoma State team, but health comes first, and I'm glad they are taking it seriously so he can return next season to his true dominant form. We honestly really didn't get to see much of AJ this season. He only wrestled 10 matches in duels, but he really was not pushed or tested at all, and he kind of smoked through everyone. However, with that said, I thought he looked better than ever, and he looked like he's made some serious improvement in all positions, which is pretty impressive considering he was a national champ last year, and he was easily the favorite to win it all in March at 197. His absence has clearly made a large impact to Oklahoma State's team in their recent matches. You could say, hey, he's only one guy, and it's 10 guys in a lineup, but I am positive they probably would have won the UNI match and the Missouri match if he would have wrestled. Unfortunately, this is not what happened, and Oklahoma State has dropped four of their last five since he has been gone. At their peak, I would say they're the third best team in the nation, but with him out of the lineup, I'm not really too sure on that because their only real finalist scoring wrestler is Dane Fix at 133, who's currently ranked second and who's proven he can make the finals before. Oklahoma State has several returning high All-Americans on their squad and several guys who could potentially push to become All-Americans, but no other champ level scorers and with AJ's bonus percentage appearing to be way higher this season than last season so these are just massive points that they are losing in the national tournament. Sticka has been filling in at 197 for the Cowboys and he is a solid wrestler but he's for sure taking his lumps in these duels and it's hard to really be as productive as a returning national champ anyway. I'd also like to take this time to refresh everyone on how crazy Ferrari's first year was. Ferrari's national title run was just crazy last season and I'm going to miss his crazy answer at this year's NCAAs, to be honest. You really don't know how great you have it until it's gone, I guess. I'm sure this year he would have been the one seed, but last year being the four seed, he went through the ringer, freshly off his Big 12 title run too. He beat Warner of Iowa in a barn burner, along with beating heavy favorite M1 seed Miles Amina, Michigan. Then he showed some serious dominance, beating longtime pit starter Bonacorzi in the finals to become a true freshman national champ. I think it goes without saying, if you're a true freshman and winning national titles, that's super impressive. And I'll be honest, week over week, he looked like he got better and better, which shows he is being super intentional in the room and not just trying to go super hard. The dude lost to a very good Noah Adams of West Virginia, and after that loss, he turned it up and never looked back. All in all, this just really stinks for AJ Ferrari, the Oklahoma State team, and the Ferrari family. But like I said, health has to come first, especially with something so serious like this. 
I really wanted to see if Ferrari could become the first and probably only five timer, but that door appears to be shut and at least he can still become a four timer, which is an elite group in its own to say the least. The only other thing I want to mention in this mini breaking news video is with Ferrari being out of the 197 field, this March is going to be must watch TV at that weight. I honestly don't feel safe picking anyone to win that bracket or make the finals for that matter. Max Dean of Penn State has lost to Cam Caffey of Michigan State, who is unpredictable as heck. Buchanan of Wyoming is now the leader in the Big 12, but even he has a weird performance and got pinned by Pence of North Dakota State, but that's honestly just what he does. Young Rocky Elam of Missouri is another super rising star that could make the finals or even win it all with the right place in the bracket plus there's schultz for nebraska who was one of the front runners last year to win it all this weight quickly became like 125 just like when spencer was out for the season but at least that weight has only like three dogs fighting out this weight has like 10 possible dogs fighting for a national title and then 20 other landmines so i can't wait to see these conference brackets and i can't wait to see this bracket maybe fall apart in march but like i said this is a super short video based on the information we have on the aj ferrari accident incident i'm really sad aj is out but i know he'll be back next year and this is a blessing that he is not injured worse in that car accident and it's a super blessing that everyone else was fine that he was saved along with the passenger god bless him and his family and i hope for a speedy recovery for him well guys with all that said i hope you like this breaking news style story of video and if you did subscribe and hit that like button for more content in the future i hope i got this video out in a timely fashion for you guys i know i had to shuffle some things around my schedule but i got it out for you all to enjoy leave a comment if i missed anything out and yeah i will see you all in the next one take care everybody <laughs>